Good day, good people, and welcome back to my channel. Now, today's video, I'm not going to hold you guys for that long, but there are some things that I want to get into. But before we get into all that, if you're not subscribed to the channel, hit that subscription button. Hit that notification button, and bell so that way you can be notified every time I'm dropping a video. Hit the like button, hit the share button, and as always, drop a comment in that comment section. Now, let's get to today's video. So as I said in today's video, I'm not going to hold you guys for that long, but there are a few things I want to get into when we're talking about Blueface and Rashawn Rock. Now, Blueface recently let go of some tweets, and he was basically telling us that he doesn't have no paperwork on Rashawn Rock. She's free to do whatever she wants to do. She don't technically have to be around him. She's not under contract. He doesn't have any paperwork on her. She didn't sign anything. So her being around all this time furthermore lets me know that I mean, of course, we already knew that she was mad head over heels for him. And that's the main reason why she probably stayed. And I get it. He said at one point in an interview that he had um, where it was him by himself talking with somebody. I forget what the interview was, but he said in the interview, it's in one of my old videos. Check it out. He stated that he felt like he had to change Krishan Rock's life after she was jumped and she was, or she was trying to run away from being jumped and she um, lost her tooth. He felt like he owed her that right to change her life. So I get, you know, him saying that and why he did what he did. But if you don't have her under contract and there is no paperwork that was signed, she shouldn't have to be asking him for a dollar. All the money should go directly to her. She has the one who has put him in charge of her finances and where all these dollars and shit is going. He wouldn't be getting any of my money if he wasn't, uh, you know, I wasn't signed to no contract and liable to give him anything. Yes, you are living in this house, but you've been sleeping with the dude. And it's obvious he started it by saying that he wanted to take care of, he wanted to change her life because he felt so bad because of her tooth being, you know, um, when it, when she fell, her tooth fell out and he felt like that was his fault because of the girls and all that kind of stuff. I get that. I would have gave her a chunk of little money. I would have went to go fix her tooth, gave her a chunk of money and let her be up on her way. But her, you, you can honestly get the, get the rolling on when you didn't got people contacting him and saying that he's your manager and all that kind of stuff. A relationship is one thing. But when we talking about that dollar and especially a dollar from a nigga, like, yeah, he got his old songs and yes, he has a song with DDG, The Moonwalking in Calabasas, which is a cool song. I'm not sure if he wrote his verse or not, but it was a cool song. But he really don't got too much nothing going for himself except, you know, doing this shit with the females. And she has really kept him on for a good little a good little while, honestly. And got people looking at him. We got people, we feeling sad for him one moment when she didn't put her hands on him and shit. It's all different types of things we got going on. But if he's not getting any uh if he don't have a contract with you and i understand she may feel like she owe him because he's getting her these shows is basically his connection it's basically his world that he has opened up to this child and then got her put the fuck on you know what i'm saying where she got a fan base now where she got people that want to reach out to her so i get that but if she ain't under contract, then she can go ahead and get the hell up out of there. She's choosing to give him all this money and stuff that she's doing, and she's choosing to stay up under that. Now, some folks are even taking it as far as to saying that Blueface is starting to make music videos again and music again because he knows that the well has run dry. And I'm thinking that they're correct. Y'all drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think about all of this nonsense and mess. Until the next video.